wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I dream of Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole and I love everything home. I love all kinds of styles and I blend and mix them throughout our home. You know, I may style one area more grand millennial, kind of a rustic grand millennial. Some areas, it's super vintage like what you see behind me. If you didn't get to watch this video, I'll link it down below. In fact, I think I'm going to start linking all my fall um, videos down below so y'all can get all the ideas. So today we are still in the living room area and I want to approach this a little differently. Normally I just kind of go from one table to the other and I get a little overwhelmed and I know that if I'm overwhelmed it's overwhelming you guys and I don't want to do that. So I am going to take it very slow. I'm going to work one table at a time and every one of these are things that you can do in a bathroom, in a bedroom, in a kitchen. So when I say, do this here, do that there, or I'm going to do this here, that there, you can tweak it more for a kitchen, more for a bathroom. So I am the queen of vignettes. Uh, I've been told that numerous times. So there are tons of little vignettes in our living room area. So I'm just gonna kind of, like I said, take them slow. We're gonna do them together. And um, once again, I always am steadily tweaking. And you can see behind me, if you watched our video the other day, I did change the, the shades on the lamps behind me over the pictures. I did a more of a barn lamp shade and I love that better. So uh, I'm constantly tweaking. So if you watch all my videos, that doesn't mean that's the way it's gonna look when I have my home tour. So y'all stick around. We're gonna finish up this living room area today. You know, we've got my husband's kind of area, the living room area, and then our little dining nook over here in our living room. And we're gonna do all of that today. So let's get started. So I'm not gonna fib to you guys. I really wanted to put this on the back of my mantle, but then while I was trying to kind of straighten up to get everything ready, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be beautiful on our coffee table. So I got a quilt. This is just a throw. It's a gray and white buffalo plaid, and I'm gonna double it across the center of our table. And you can see behind me, I put it over our round table. I have put in my cart so many times to buy a um, tablecloth in, in, on Amazon. And I kept talking myself out of it. And I know a lot of people have said, you know, we're trying not to spend, you know, we don't need to spend the money on this or that. And I completely understand and relate. I am trying my best this year not to do that. I am using what I have and be thankful for it. So, all that to say this, I wanted this behind the mantle and I can't do it just yet, but then I thought, mm, so let me show you what I'm thinking. This is the mirror that I had over our fireplace in our bedroom and I'm thinking and this is why I put the quilt down because there's screws and such on the back of laying it kind of diagonal because it is kind of large ah. and sometimes your your ideas don't work but we're gonna play with it and see that's very diagonal I love the shape of it. Let me take y'all off and show you the top. 
looking down at it. I'm gonna kind of work my way around it and let y'all see. I just thought, excuse Bear's toy right in the middle of the living room. I just thought, wow, I could do like a harvest type thing right dead center of the coffee table. So let's play with it. I'm very careful of what I put on this mirror because I surely don't want to scratch it. <laughs> have this good size basket and I'm almost thinking of doing it one of these ways. Boy, I could even take the tag off of it, couldn't I? And I may get this put together and I don't like it, but I'm kind of feeling it. And then billowing. But then the back of it looks so yucky. Let's X that idea. I have this collection of more of the urns and I want to spatter them across the room. Maybe I want to do one here. Very gently, <laughs> very gingerly. I have this little wreath. not make me have to put so much. This is a piece of the seeded eucalyptus like I used on the mantle. What if I had one more piece? Oh. So I've got my basic form. So all I did was my pot, my wreath, and then two greeneries. And then I can build off of that. I could put candle holders back here. I could do tons of pumpkins all in here. I could do some floral in here if I felt like it. Um, we are not constricted on our coffee table because our TV is high up in here. And I think I'm just gonna keep it kind of low though for the grandbabies. But I'm going to stick, no, I want something different up there. I've got some really pretty orange pumpkins that I'm sticking all around. And I'll let y'all see all the way around, guys. I could do this in the top, but I'm not feeling it. some brown little ones. I have some corn I could throw in here and there and a little squash. I could take ribbon in here, but I need to decide what I'm going to do in this. These are some greenery that I had. These are there's two of them. And then these are the velvet little berries that I have that I love. And I'm wondering if I'm gonna need two or one of the greenery. Let's look at one first. Too tall. Maybe I can get by with one. need to build that up. Y'all, I keep paper, little plastic bags, all kinds of things all the time around for this kind of thing. Let's see if I can put it right there. I may have to be 
than these now. Honestly, when you, when you bend it like that, it makes it stay in your piece better. So a lot of people said, wow, you know, you do wonderful uh, floral work. And I used to do wedding flowers. That's when we had our shop in here in, or in Andalusia. I used to do weddings and that was, I love doing flowers. My sister actually is the one that did flowers before me and she taught me how to do it and I just completely ran with it and I love it. I think three is a gracious plenty. I love the little hint of orange. Um, love, love, love. I think that's beautiful. I could add, now, you remember how I said you could tweak it and do it as a kitchen or a bathroom? In a bathroom, you could do one of the little brass uh, mirrors like I have in our bathroom. Or uh, you could do, um, in a kitchen, you could totally do a mirror and add apples and grapes. Just very uh, harvest looking. Uh, this what I think when I see this. I may do some candles on this. I have some black candle holders, but I'm wondering if I have enough candles. Let's see. These are metal, and they have velvet on the bottom, so I'm not as worried about them. I would probably take them off when my grandbabies come, just because I don't want to get upset with them if they, <laughs> if they were to knock them over and break something. So it just helps me and helps them. So... I love this look. Let me see if I have some candles. I'm extremely happy. I found four and I'll show them to you. They are beautiful. It's like spiral ribbon, kind of a harvest gold color candles. What I'm gonna do is I brought my tin foil in here. I'm just gonna rip me a little bit of tin foil. Wrap it around the bottom. This helps it fit down in there tighter. It may already fit, but I want it really tight. And I may have to adjust. I got a little happy there. So just wrap your temple around and then stick it down inside. And you can take your fingernail and just push your temple down in there or take it completely out like <laughs> I just did. Now let's try that again. Y'all get the gist of it. You can take your temple and put your, around your candles to get them to go into your holders. Oh, that is beautiful. I love this. I'm gonna go all the way around so you can get a good look at it. You know, I did the greenery on either side to make it elongated like the mirror that pulls your eye out across the entire piece. And then to bring your eye up, because these ceilings in this living room are kind of high, so I think it's a beautiful, large looking piece. You can see that I've already done my pillows. I wasn't gonna do that with you guys today. I did that on both sides. There's Bear, hello Tinky, hey buddy. And I did this over here. I've got stuff strode everywhere, trying to get ready on what we wanna do on the side tables. But you can see that I've already started working on the center table. So let's move this over This is the there. most controversial table in our living room. My husband doesn't like too much on this. We would love to have a love seat recliner where we could sit closer together. We're still considered newlyweds. So we love to sit close together and this does not allow that. So we may eventually get rid of these recliners but so he likes things very minimal on this table, but I'm trying to cover this table to protect it. I'm not gonna use that toolbox on there. 
I just took, I bought these off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. They are a pillowcase with a little ruffle on them. They're absolutely precious. And I thought, you know, I could put that. That would bring in more plaid. And I do have the buffalo plaid in the um, nook area. Also a couple pillows on the, the couches. Excuse me. So I want to do something minimal right here. And I may just do, hmm. I could do a couple books with a vase. That may be too much. I could do a bowl with a pumpkin. That's very minimal. Really guys, I'm not gonna bore you with this. I'm just doing a, this is a Roseville pottery, just like what I have on the mantle with a little half sphere in there and just a little pumpkin. And I'm going to put our posters here. And that's gonna be it, because I don't wanna get in trouble by my husband. I won't get in trouble, God love him. But I think I'm just gonna keep it very, very minimal. This is my little side table, and I'm fixing to do a refresh on this, and we'll do that together. But I, you may have noticed, I try to keep all of my decor, what's the word I'm looking for? contained. I try to keep it all in one like compartment, if that makes sense. So I have this tray and I'm wondering if it fits up here. It does. I can put my lamp on it, my picture of my great grandmother and my grandmother, and then I can do my decor over there and keep it all contained, if that makes sense. I may do it more centralized. I have to work around the surround sound, guys. So, but I think I like that. And then do me something right here. It's All right, so I've got my books. I've got me a little vase, and I'm gonna put me some greenery in that and some of those little orange beads and berries. And that's all I'm gonna do. Look how simple that was. I may put a pumpkin down below. So this is the same greenery that I did on the coffee table. I'm just gonna bend it down. This is stinking cute to my thought. I love these berries. I call them berries, but I love how they drape. They just give a wispy look. And then I'm just gonna do a little pumpkin. I love that. Very simple. I could add a dolly if I wanted. I could add a doily if I wanted. I don't think I want to, and I'll tell you why. I love this doily. This was my great-grandmother's, but I think the dark tones is beautiful for fall, and that's why I'm going to leave it as is. So get you a base, some books, a vase, greenery. I mean, how simple was that? And I'm hiding my surround sound speaker. Yay me! So I'm not gonna fib to you guys. I came up with this one as I was doing the center table and I'm thinking, you know, I could easily do this toolbox over here. Hide another speaker. And have remotes in the back. So I'm just going to stick some, uh, some cotton balls and some pumpkins down here. And when I say cotton balls, let me show you. I'm here to tell you, you can't. You might notice that I have our um, blind up over there. That's where little man can peek out the window. So I am, he is spoiled. But I have these cotton balls and um, I love these things. They have little burrows on them and cotton is a Southern thing, y'all. It is Southern. So I'm thinking, don't fit down in there. Pumpkins 
probably all that off. Maybe I need to build something underneath it. What could I do? I have three of my pumpkin balls. What could I put underneath that? Play with this. I have some yucky, I don't like this eucalyptus. I've never really liked it. So I kind of parted it in the middle and put it down inside. Now that would work. I could do one out here and then stick my pumpkins. Now, if I didn't like the eucalyptus as much, I could stick some of this, but I almost think it's overpowering. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna mix in some more oranges for more color. I could even use this corn that I got. I got this in a small bag from Hobby Lobby. I think it was a couple years ago, and I just kind of stick it here and there for a little pop of color. This one looks lost. I know what I can do. So here's another lesson. I can use the wood. It's a totally different stain of wood, but it doesn't pop out at you. So my thought is use the white it brings out the white cotton again. You know, I'm very close to his area. Us wives have to think about that. So <laughs> I'm just gonna do this this way and that way his coaster can sit right here. All right, guys, I think that's all I'm gonna do right here. This area may not appeal to everybody. My husband's deer above my husband's father was a taxidermist, and um, it's just, it's a memory of his dad as well as hunting, and I want to have him out front and center. But this, I love. This was actually a gift. It was a wedding gift for my husband and I, and it was from our cousin. And it's got the A for my husband, Alan, the N for me, and the C. And it's just a decal that goes inside your lampshade and it gives that look. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, but I wanted to do that over here. I have my great-grandmother's silverware here. And I want this very woodsy, very um, warm. But I have this really sweet wood antique duck. When we had our lake house, I had a camping room. And you can see down below all of my thermoses and Coleman um, gas lanterns and minnow buckets. They're all down here on this side for my husband's uh, area. But I'm just going to use the duck kind of here just to give a splash of color. I know it's not a lot of color, but it's very muted. And then I thought, since this is really rustic over here, what if... I did my big toolbox. This thing is gorgeous. I've used it for centerpiece, you know, and, and I think this would be really pretty here, but I'm gonna have to do some greenery in it somehow, and I'm running low on greenery. So I need to put something in the bottom to build my base up. I think this is gonna be too tall. I found this on my husband's desk and I thought that's more color and then this little boat but I found these cups these are Alabama cups and I was hoping that I could put them on either end but I'm really thinking that's too tall It's not. Yay! So all I did is I took the cup and I turned it sideways and put my, because it's got a, like a round half moon piece, and I have to coax it in here somehow and stand it up. All right, and then I want to put antlers and maybe some pumpkins and that sort of thing. So we're gonna play with this. I 
think I want to put some tissue down in there. Now I'm just going to start placing my antlers in. This one's a dark one. Look how pretty that is. and I'm thinking of putting it in here and then building some pumpkins on top of that. This is the greenery that I have. It's real wispy. I want it to look like I just pulled it out of the woods. can handle the antlers will help me hold my pumpkins in as well I love the look of it so far There's a, actually a little cubby in this area right here, and that's why that looks a little vague, uh, like a void right there. But you could do this on a centerpiece on a dining table. This would be really pretty in a man cave. That's kind of what this area is for my husband, is like his little office area. At the old house, we had a full office living room area for him upstairs so it was either the land or man cave and he chose the land so good choice husband good choice i love you but i want to add pumpkins in this once again i am running out of pumpkins these green ones but see they kind of blend in and I don't want that these don't look like pumpkins to me what do I do two white pumpkins. Maybe that's what I should do. I almost don't even like them in there. I like that there. I don't like that in there. Found a few little orange berries. And 
and maybe some wheat. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Y'all got so tired of decorating with you all. I had to stop the video and then we are at it again today. So this is the other area of our living room. This comes as you come in to our living room from our kitchen area. And you can see this is one of my favorite areas. I bought this off Facebook Marketplace, oh, excuse me, Facebook from Marnie's Munique, Unique, excuse me, Marnie's Uniques. She does all kinds of barns out of old barn wood, which is, it's gorgeous. And then I asked her to do the flag on it for, for us because of my husband and we're big patriotic people. So I do this area for my grandbabies because they love to play with all the animals. My little granddaughter, Olivia Lane, she loves playing with all the cows and the chickens and Big Mama just lets her have at it. So you can see I have a little chicken coop over here with a little chicken inside. And then my um, silo on this side. Now, I'm gonna add my little red truck and I'm probably, I try to do it in this area, but I'm gonna take the greenery out because I have a bag full of all kinds of knickknacks that I wanna use over here. So I bought these little square bales of hay from Ho Hobby Lobby several years ago. And I think I wanna do one in the back of the truck. It's making a huge mess, so I'll have to clean that up. Maybe one over here. How many do I have? I have four. Wow. Woo! That was a mess. The picture behind it is actually a piece of art that I ordered off of. Um, oh, I'll have to figure that out and put it a little tag down below. I think it was um, Canvas It. And it is a peel and stick. So it doesn't mess up the wall. And it just peels and sticks onto your wall. Really neat. I have one last thing of straw. And I think I may do that like right in front of the barn. All right, and then I have these little pumpkins and I thought to put the pumpkins like around the little bales of hay and these little teeny tiny pine cones. Oh, it'll be a mess. When the grandbabies come, they'll, I had this, I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I had used it in the past. It's little uh, wheat and some hops. So I don't know, I could use the hops in the back. Let's do this. If you hear crunching in the background, Bear Bear's down here eating in the kitchen. I kind of like that. Now I have another pumpkin, which I could put right over here. And some more pine cones. And then I can start putting my little animals. Now I have a mama and daddy pig. And I'll just kind of do them here. And I just do them all around. I have a mama and baby donkey. Oh, I forgot my little baby pig. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that precious? I have a little sheet. Of course, I have a sheet. Love sheet. 
I almost wish this shelf could be a little bigger, but there's just no way. I have a little, uh, Marnie made this little uh, chicken coop to go with my barn. And I have a little rooster. I'm gonna stick over here. And then I have two little bunnies. Let's see. Maybe there's my sheep over here. You can put my cow right there. And that is my fall decoration for my little barn scene and my grandbabies absolutely love it, y'all. So this little area is our little eating nook in our living room. You can tell that I have the corner hutch behind it. I have uh, buffalo plaid chairs on either end. I'm gonna take this table runner off and I'm going to do a really pretty, I think I even done this table runner on this table last year, but I love it over here. It's got the oranges and the blues and the lighting is really horrible over here. I'm sorry about that, but I'll give y'all up close when I get done. Now I want to use something different in the middle. I don't know if I want to do something round, something long. I bought this from Kirkland's years ago. It's got the wrought iron handles on it. See if I like that. It's very narrow, so it won't interfere on people sitting on either side. I could do, let's see. Have this really pretty copper pot and I normally use this in my living oh, excuse me in my kitchen and then I had these two pieces left over so I'm wondering if it's gonna take both I think it is maybe not I might use that somewhere else I'm trying to be very frugal with my decor this year and since this has the buffalo plaid over here I thought I could do my little buffalo plaid um, cushiony or pillow top pumpkin. You know, I'm really loving this. I'm wondering if I need anything else or if I just need to stop. I kind of think I'm going to stop. Oh, y'all, I am loving how this area turned out all the blues and oranges and black and whites mixed together. It is so, so pretty. And the grandbabies are going to love this area as well, almost as much as I do. I thank each and every one of you for joining me today. And I hope to see y'all Saturday and we'll do some more fall decor. Have an awesome week. It's always been